Losing your job is always a terrible experience, regardless of the circumstances. Usually people get fired because the company's downsizing, they violated the code of conduct, or because they became redundant. However, there are also much more unusual, incredible, and funny reasons to get fired. For this video, we compiled a list with unbelievable stories about getting fired that will leave you scratching your head. I'm Mike with List25, and from a warehouse worker who was fired for excessive farting to three KFC girls who were sacked for bathing in the restaurant sink, check out some of the craziest getting fired horror stories with these 25 stupid reasons to get fired. Twenty-five, Dental assistant Melissa Nelson was fired by Iowa dentist James Knight for being too attractive. Haven't we all been there? Knight was pressured into sacking Nelson by his wife, who also worked in his dental office. Oh man, sucks to be so good looking. You wouldn't know, Tristan. <laughs> you can't see, but he's crying. Twenty-four. Lifeguard Thomas Lopez was fired for leaving his section after he had run some distance out of his patrol area to save a drowning man on an unpatrolled stretch of beach in Florida. Fired for doing his job. Awesome. 23. Daniel Cambridge was dismissed from a book warehouse in Burton, UK for excessive farting after 35 complaints to management about him breaking wind. Cambridge insisted his flatulence problem was just a common side effect of antidepressants he had been taking. 22. Josefina Hernandez, a longtime Walgreens employee with diabetes, was fired for eating a $1.39 bag of chips to boost her blood sugar when she felt an attack of hypoglycemia was coming on. 21. In 2008, a 36-year-old Stacy Fearnall lost her job as a waitress at a restaurant in Owen Sound, Canada, after she shaved her head to raise money for a cancer charity. 20. John Oakes was fired as Santa Claus by an American department store for saying, ho, ho, ho. According to the store's management, he was supposed to say, ha, 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 as ho is also a slang word for a prostitute. 19. A McDonald's waitress, and I didn't know that was a thing, in the Netherlands was fired after she sold a hamburger to her coworker who then asked for cheese, which she added. The fast food chain argued this turned the hamburger into a cheeseburger, and so she should have charged more. 18. 30 workers at a Turkmenistan television network were sacked after a cockroach was seen scuttling across the newsreader's desk during a live broadcast. The national station was bombarded with calls from disgusted viewers who said the unexpected sight had put them off their dinner. 17. Cassandra Fearing, a substitute teacher in Bronx, New York, was fired for asking her fourth grade students for relationship advice. She had the students role play conversations with her about it. 16. In one of the craziest getting fired stories ever, a Mexican pilot was sacked for letting the popular singer Esmeralda Ugalde fly an airliner. The singer even posted the photo of her flying the plane on her Twitter account. 15. Teenage office worker Kimberly Swan was fired after she posted a Facebook status where she complained that her job at Evil Marketing and Logistics was boring. 14. New Zealander Vicky Walker was sacked for using bold uppercase letters in a group email with detailed instructions on how to properly fill out forms that she sent to her colleagues. 13. Mueller Thomas, who worked in Vodafone's marketing department in Hungary, was fired after he posted a humorous tweet about T-Mobile, one of Vodafone's biggest competitors. 12. Juan Canales, a waiter in a restaurant in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, was fired from his job after he went to the rescue of a woman who was being carjacked from a parking lot near the eatery. Guys, just apparently stop being heroes. Don't save people. Save your jobs. That's sarcasm. 11. A size 4 model, Philippa Hamilton, who is 5'10 and 120 pounds, was fired by the American fashion giant Ralph Lauren after an 8-year partnership because she was too fat to fit in the sample sizes. 10. Micah Grimes, a coach of a girls basketball team at the Covenant School of Dallas, was fired in 2009 because his team beat another team 100 to nothing and he didn't apologize for the wide margin win. 9. 
Wendy Gonover lost her teaching job at Cal State Fullerton because she refused to sign a loyalty oath swearing to defend the U.S. and California constitutions against all enemies, foreign and domestic. As a Quaker from Pennsylvania and a lifelong pacifist, Gonover objected to the California oath as an infringement on her rights of free speech and religious freedom. 8. In 2012, 14 people were fired from a law firm in Florida for wearing orange clothes. Wearing orange on paydays was a tradition in the firm, but the new management thought it was a kind protest against them. That would not work well in Gainesville. 7. Iowa man John Preston was fired for reenacting an office prank that originated from the show Seinfeld. Preston kept saying, you're so good looking, instead of bless you whenever someone sneezed. Preston, you're not that great looking. What? What did we do today? <laughs> I was hoping you would sneeze. So I could. Achoo. You're so good looking. Achoo. You're so good looking. Achoo. You just want me to keep saying that. Achoo. That's the worst sneeze I've ever heard. <laughs> now you just sound like a librarian shushing someone really angrily. Six. In 2012, 14 Californian lifeguards were fired for performing a parody of the famous Psy song, Gangnam Style. Rather than being amused by the video, the lifeguard's superiors said it was inappropriate, and they decided to terminate the lifeguard's contracts. Isn't it like this? Yes. Oh. Everybody died that summer. <laughs> oh no. Five. Iowa man Richard Eggers, that's a great last name, was fired by Wells Fargo Home Mortgage Division in West Des Moines, Iowa in 2012 for a petty crime he committed nearly 50 years prior. Back then, in 1963, he got caught using a cardboard cutout of a dime to run a laundromat washing machine while he was a teenager. That's stuff you see in cartoons. Like where they t tie the uh, coin to the string on their finger, put it in and pull it out. Yeah. Thanks. You're ugly. That's, bless you. Four. Two nurses from Lake Geneva, Wisconsin were fired for misconduct after they posted a patient's x-ray on Facebook. The patient in question allegedly had a certain device lodged in his rectum, hence the keen interest on the part of the nurses. Three. A Comcast technician in the Washington DC area was probably so tired of fixing a straightforward internet connection issue that he fell asleep on a customer's couch. He was fired immediately. Two. Staten Island EMT Mark Mussarella lost his job with the Richmond University Medical Center after snapping a picture of a murder victim and posting the photo on his Facebook profile. Yeah, don't do that. One. In 2008, three KFC workers were fired for bathing in the restaurant sink. The girls, all from Anderson, California, stripped down to bikinis to relax after a long shift at the fast food chain and one of them decided to post the photos they took on her MySpace page. So, what's the silliest, dumbest, whatever reason you got fired? Let us know in the comments below. Or someone else. Yeah, maybe you fired someone. That's not what I meant. Oh, maybe someone you know got fired. That's what I meant. Also, you fired someone. Maybe. Let us know. No, you know what Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the bottom right so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these three videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.